Hello, my friends. I'm Bill McLaughlin. Welcome to St. Paul Sunday. If you folks would like to know more about Imani Wins, the simplest way is to look it up at our website, which is simply stpaulsunday, all one word, dot O-R-G, information on Imani Wins and all of the artists who appear on the show. And by example of this very interesting repertoire, you brought on music of a friend of mine whom you didn't know was a friend of mine until today's really? program. Yeah, Miguel Del Aguila, who mm -hmm. now lives... At least the last time I checked up, he was in Ventura, California, up a, sort of north and west of L.A. He was very proud of the fact that that's where they shoot Baywatch. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. my goodness. <laughs> but Miguel was born in uh, Uruguay, in Montevideo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Studied there. He studied in San Francisco, studied in L.A., studied in Missoula, Montana, studied in Vienna for about 10 years. He spent 10 years in Austria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, I met him once when he dropped by the Kansas City Symphony. I was still music director there, and he played me some of his music there. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting big piece for wind quintet. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. It's in four movements. First of all, what are the movements called? The movements are called Back in Time, In Heaven, Under the Earth, and Far Away. <laughs> now, each of these movements really evoke different, completely different ideas. Mm -hmm. The first movement is really fun because we get to sing in it. And so I, I gave away the surprise, but it's it's such a beautiful piece, and it's it really does talk. It sounds like we're going back in time. Uh, in heaven, it uses a lot of extended techniques. Now I don't know what that has to do with being in heaven, but <laughs> it it somehow. <laughs> I think it's once you got there, the rules are all. Yeah, yeah. Be. it's up to you. So, but it, translate. What's extended techniques for the oboe or the horn? Or what are these things you're talking about? Well, extended techniques in general are things that are not usually done on our instruments. So that's fun. And then the most fun movement of this piece for me is the third movement, which is under the earth. And the two of you, the flute and the oboe, remove yourself from this little tight horseshoe. Where Don't you, tell them, Bill. <laughs> I guess you're right. All right. If you folks notice, they seem to be kind of from a distance. There you go. They're your, under the your earth. Your ears are correct. Yeah. So here are the four movements. Back in time, in heaven, which is a little bit Caribbean, says the composer, under the earth, mm -hmm. sort of portrait of death ghosts, spooky stuff, and far away, which my ear sounded maybe Moroccan or North African or something like that. You folks can make up your mind. Here's music of the composer born in Uruguay, Miguel de la Guila, his quintet number two played by Imani Wins.
an idea how hard that is, but it's really fun to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Miguel de la Gila, the composer of this piece, talking about it. He says, my piece tells the events of a story which takes us to a completely different place in each movement, much the same as would four acts of a theater play. Miguel de la Gila, born in Uruguay, living in California at the moment, that's his quintet number two for winds, played brilliantly by Imani Winds. Wonderful program. We started with a piece by our horn player, Jeff Scott, heard one from Valerie Coleman, music from Pavel Haas, the Moravian composer, now music of Miguel de la Gila. So nice to mm -hmm. see you. It's about three years since we've yeah. seen each other, and yeah. you've been just going gangbusters. You sound better than ever. Thanks to Valerie Coleman, our flutist, Toya Spellman Diaz, our oboist, Miriam Adam, our clarinetist, Monica Ellis is the bassoonist, Jeff Scott, the horn player, Imani wins. Our website is stpaulsunday.org. That's all one word, St. Paul Sunday. I'm Bill McLaughlin. Stay tuned for wonderful programming coming right up on the station, and make sure that you join me right here next week for St. Paul Sunday from American Public Media. Mm -hmm.